Now let's talk hot. A dangerous heat wave has hit the country with more than 30 million people at risk for extreme temperatures. Already, at least four people have died in Arizona in this sweltering heat wave. Wow. So, what can you do to stay safe in all of this heat? And how do you know when you need to call 911? Fox News Medical 18 doctor, Dr. David Samadi, joins us now with more. Good morning, Dr. Good morning. Samadi. So, how do you prevent a heat stroke? This is actually quite common. We already have seen four people die. These are young teenagers. Teenagers that are going for hiking and they're not prepared and they don't recognize it and this goes so fast 380 people every year die from this so the big thing is really distinguishing between heat exhaustion versus heat stroke okay when the index heat index out there is about 90 degrees you want to be really careful about going out there that's when things start to happen and when your core temperature is around 103 that's really when heat exhaustion happens so what happens your heart rate your body feels that it's getting hot it's hard rate starts to pump in, your heart rate goes up, your blood pressure goes up. All the blood actually starts going to the skin and you start sweating. And okay, sweating so, so with heat exhaustion, sweating, slow heartbeat, temperature under 105 and cool down and hydrate. That's what you do. But then with heat stroke, lack of sweating. So sweating, Steve, is actually the best thing that can happen. That's our self mechanism to get rid of all the heat. So Through if you're sweating, not sweating and it's hot, you're in trouble. That's when you're getting into heat stroke, which is exactly what you have over there. Now all of a sudden your body is exhausted. Mm -hmm. Heart is tired of pumping blood. You're already like depleting all of your reserve and you're not going to be sweating. So what happens? All the temperature is going to stay in 104, 105, 106. You're going to start depleting all of your salt. You get muscle so cramp, you... nausea, vomiting, and you get you can get unconscious. You get short of breath. You can get seizure, and finally death. Yes, people can Boy. die from so this. So what do you do if you get overheated? Do you call 911? Well, the first thing you got to do is to get out of the heat. That's what you want to bring the temperature down. So you want to make sure that you take a cold shower, drink fluid, make sure you deplete, uh, get all of your electrolytes. If within 15 minutes you're not feeling well, call 911 because the sooner we get you by putting an IV fluid, we can get that fluid inside your reserve, your blood, your vascular, and bring your heart back in. And that's really a big message out well, there. Well, because it's been a really hot down in Florida over the last couple of weeks and it's really hot in the desert southwest now but you know the people live there and so they say you know it's that time of the year I'm just used to it but you've got to know the warning you've got to know that also a lot of message to elderly is that they have a long list of medications they may be on a lot of diuretics for their blood pressure mm. those are the days that you don't want to take any of those medications and speak to your doctor because you know you it's going to deplete a lot of your yeah. fluid stay away from alcohol beer any kind of alcohol or coffee, those are all diuretics. And make sure that you loosen up all of your tight clothing so the blood can get to the areas that it's supposed to. But the main thing is get out of the heat. That's yeah. the best okay. thing and start taking fluid. And the sooner we get you to the emergency room, we can Without really it, save your life. It affects people it's a big of all deal. ages. Thanks, Dr. Samadhi, for being here. Thank Good you, to sir. see you.